We were very concerned about the rate of injuries among our staff. We were second to the highest in the system as far as patient mobilization injuries, and that was a big concern. You know, we've been addressing this issue for a long time now. In fact, we have an assortment of uh, patient assistive devices for the staff to use, but we have never really found an equipment that the staff would use. And so what ended up happening is we have an assortment of what I call collectibles. They collect in the hallways or in the storeroom and they're never used. And yet our injury rate keeps uh, increasing over time. And so in 2007, we actually engaged uh, Six Sigma to assist us with uh, really thoroughly examining the issue and looking at the root cause of the problems. They interviewed and listened to the voice of the customers and uh, listened to their recommendation. And that's when we came up with uh, the idea of actually installing overhead ceiling lifts in the patient's room. We actually piloted this idea in ICU. Before the lift, you would need um, sometimes six or eight people to do a transfer. And coordinating in a small ICU, six or eight bodies, free, uh, not attached to something else, able to come over and assist at the bedside to do a, a roll up, slide across, bring them out and straight, and then they can break away. It's that hard to raise a person. And up they go. Hi, yeah, no problem, I'll get the phone in five minutes. And they're moving. It's that easy. I mean, I didn't strain my back. I didn't. When we really got to the root of identifying what the cause of this issue is and it started working on this project, the one great thing that happened is the change in culture. We actually created a culture of the staff actually working better together. We can say that equipment is of value and it makes a difference. Having the glides so that we could support lateral transfers definitely helped. Having the money, the capital, to be able to implement those overhead lifts um, has helped, but that hasn't been our total gain at this point because they're not even fully installed. Um, what we found very early on that really kind of surprised us was the benefit to having frontline staff involved in the Six Sigma process and the dialogue and then the communication to leadership and out to employees which actually increased staff safety awareness. We actually saw this effect on injury rates declining just because people were more aware of the risk within their facility, the work that they do, and were aware of some of the solutions that were being discussed. What I've learned through this process is that I can use the lifts in conjunction with what I'm doing. So I had a gentleman in ICU. Um, this was within the last month. And he was really lethargic. Um, he wasn't following directions really well, so I decided to use the overhead lift in ICU to get him sitting edge of bed. So we put the transfer sling on, sat him edge of bed, and he woke up. <laughs> and at that point, he was able to follow more, to do more, and we actually ended up standing and doing a little bit of a, a stand transfer with a walker, uh, which I wouldn't have been able to do, or I was putting myself more at risk had I been trying to haul him up to the edge of the bed with, with another person. The overhead lifts are, they are so much better for both patient and um, employee, nursing-wise at least. Um, my favorite part of the overhead lifts is the fact that we have a lot of patients that need to be turned Q1 hour or Q2 hours, but by using the overhead lift I can do that pretty much by myself. I don't need to find three or four people to help me, you know, rotate a patient with a total hip or um, total knee, you know, one of the orthopedic surgeries. Log rolling your patient you can do with your overhead lift with only one nurse or one caregiver. Um, that's probably our best investment in both the employee's health and also the patient's recovery. It's working on changing, I think, the culture and the minds of others that, you know, is it faster to do some things the old way? Yeah, it, it is, it is. You know, I've, I've been there. Is it easier just to give a quick pull up in the bed? Sure, that's not the issue. The issue is skin issues with the patient, causing friction and possibly skin tears from doing that. Um, the issue is for staff uh, getting ourselves hurt. I'm hoping down the road that we can, through this program, help convince other facilities that this is a worthwhile thing to invest in. I know it's a lot of money, 
um, and I know that there's a lot of time with the renovation and a lot of inconvenience, but really I think when you get down to it, five years from now we're going to be in such a better place with decreasing work comp injuries, decreasing patient injuries as well, um, or just workplace injuries in general, um, that I think it's going to be well worth the money and the time spent putting all this into place. If I look back, about two years ago, we were averaging about 500000 a year in terms of patient mobilization injury cost. Last year, we averaged about $15,000. That's a big difference. That's a big return on our investment in terms of this project. It's a journey. It's a cultural change. It's everything that we do that contributed to the 75% reduction in our patient mobilization injury from the time that we started the project. We didn't expect things to change overnight. Um, although we already have seen some nice changes happen within a short period of time, um, getting everybody on board and moving forward is, is still going to take some time and some convincing, um, but I think we'll get there down the road. You know, I think the biggest reward of this project has been when I round and the staff approach me and thank me and tell me how much it made a difference, how much it made it easier for them to do their job with uh, all the assistive devices that we have provided for them. Not just the overhead lift, but also the smart device, the glide mat, and then the standardization in our practices, the fact that now everybody has an awareness regarding safe practices had truly made a difference. When a staff meets you in the hallway and tells you, thank you for giving us the tools that we need in order to make our job easier, that means a lot to me.